hello everyone welcome to 138 video of advanced ecom series in laravel 8 so we are going to continue working on the orders module in the last video we have seen that we able to create the order details section you can see the order details delivery address ordered products customer details and billing address in the order detail page in admin panel and in this video we are going to work on the update order status module okay so this module uh, we want to make this module dynamic and for making it dynamic we need to create the order statuses table okay so we will create the table uh, to dynamically update to dynamically show all the order status here so that our client can update any of the order status here from the admin panel okay so uh, we can give the all the order status here we will uh, make one table here uh like uh, we can give the table like order underscore statuses okay not status because we want to make the model of it so it must be plural okay so we are going to make the table like order underscore statuses okay so this table we are going to create with migration and after that we are going to insert few order status few required order status uh, with the help of seeding and after that we will update the form here and we can dynamically show all the status here and then we can update the status of any of the order as well okay so let's start working on this video and uh, first of all uh, we are going to create the migration file and i will uh, right click on my project here services new terminal at folder here i am going to run the command like php artisan make migration i am going to create the migration file for creating the table and i'm going to create the file like create order statuses okay we are going to make this plural statuses s t a t u s e s okay so this is the order statuses status spelling is s t a t u s after that we will add the e s so after that table so this migration file has been created so i'm going to open this migration file create order statuses table like this and here i am going to add uh, the uh, required columns that we want to add uh, so for creating the order status table we require the id column id is already there after that we require the name column a name will contain the status and after that we will require one status column itself status is like zero or one that is uh, we are uh, required because uh, anytime we can make the status zero if we will make the status as zero uh, then it means uh, that status is not required anymore okay so we can disable any of the status uh, so you can make the status module as well at front end if you want you can make the status module like this like orders after that you can uh, make the module like status and in status module you can add any much status if you want okay so that will be really uh, user friendly kind of thing and i i think that you can do uh from your end and table i will do string now uh, for name after name i will add the tiny integer table tiny integer it's for the status that we want to disable or enable any of the status so only these uh, fields are required not much and now we can run the uh, php artisan migrate command uh, so that our table will get created php artisan migrate okay so it is showing some error here and uh, okay there is a spelling mistake i have made this silly mistake don't do this at your end tiny t-i-n-y okay so now we can uh try again so here it is php now this time the order has been uh, this table has been created create order status table uh 
uh, is migrated successfully so i'm going to check my database now sorry not this one uh, it's uh, ecom6 and i can check here order status is table you can refresh and check here yeah here is the our table only uh, five fields are there id name status created at and updated at okay so here in name the actual status will come and here the status we can keep it one or zero one for enabling the status and zero for disabling the status okay so and now we are going to add few entries with seeding and for adding few entries with seeding uh, we will create uh, the uh, that uh, order status table seeder file okay we will create the seeder file uh, but before that we will also create the order status model for the order statuses table we, requ uh, we are required to create the model as well and uh, let's create the model first php artisan make model and model is order status like this so this is our model file model uh, php artisan make model order status okay so now the model has been created and we can check once if the model has been created successfully so you can see here we have created the model order status o is in caps and uh, for underscore uh, we have make the s caps so it means it is orders we order underscore status and see the last one it does not carry es so it is singular okay so this is the way we used to create the model so order status model we have created that is fine so after that uh, we will create uh, the uh, seeding file uh, we will create the seeder for uh, for adding few of the entries few of the order status in our order statuses table and for that i'm going to run the command to create the uh, that order status table uh, order status table seeder file okay so i will create that php artisan make seeder this time we are going to make the seeder in the same way like we have created the migration file now we will are going to create the seeder file so here we can make the name like order status table see that like this so you can see the order status table seeder has been created successfully we can open order status table seeder here it is so now we can add uh, statuses here the status that we want to add but before that we will also include the model that we have created in our last step use app order status uh, now we will create few dummy entries create one variable here order status records okay so here uh, we are going to add some of the statuses and uh, we will add first of all we will add id id we will increment by one every time and then the order status that we want here like the order status is new we can make the new status every time if the order is new status is one like this and that uh, we can keep all the status as one and we can do like this we can add uh, some status here uh, like uh, now the next one is we can add some uh, main status like pending we can also add the status like hold 
client can hold the order as well for few days if the payment is not confirmed and then we can add the status like cancel also client can cancel the order if the payment has not come so uh, the another one in process client can make the status like in process to tell the user his order is in process here we require to add five then six one uh, we can add the shipped client can uh, tell uh, or we can give first paid okay so client uh, we can make the status like paid like uh, if the payment is uh, made successfully either from the paypal either from the pay you money or any other payment gateway that we uh, will use then if the status is fine if this if the payment has been captured then we are going to update the status to paid and you and the client can manually also update the status as paid if in case he gets the payment from the user from other sources okay so here we will keep the paid after that uh, we will give the status like ship like if the client ship the order okay then we will keep we will update its status uh, like shipped and one more we are going to give uh, the deliver status if the order has been delivered to the user then the client can update the status to delivered okay so this is the manual process the client can update the status every time if the order uh, if there is any change in the status of the order okay so this one uh, now after this uh, we are going to uh, execute the insert query order status after that insert to insert uh, all these status uh, statuses in the order and status table so let's see now now we are going to insert all the order statuses uh, so we will run now the another command we are going to run but before running that command uh, we are required to update one more file database reader file we are required to update here and we can make it one more and we can disable the last one and here uh, we can keep uh, the order status table seeder so here we will give like order status table seeder like this so after this uh, so we are now ready to run the final command that is php artisan d will see it but before running that command we will do one more command for the laravel 7 and laravel 8 users uh, may face one issue a class does not uh, undefined kind of error class uh, is not uh, not defined or something like this kind of error may come so that uh, we can run one command for those users if in case the error comes then you can run this command composer dump auto load okay you can run this command once and after that we will run our final command we are going to run now php artisan db seed so this is the final command and you can see uh, it's updated the seed runs fine and we can now browse and now you can see all the status has been updated here okay so finally uh, we have got all the status here uh, that we want to add and uh, now we can use all the status see the all the status have one uh, we have made all the status as active and all we can use uh, now here we can use okay so uh, so this one you can try at your end in next video we are going to dynamically update all the status here and we are going to update the status when user will click any of the status we can update and click on update button then we will update the status as well okay so stay tuned for the next video so that's all for now if you have any query you can surely contact me okay then have a nice time goodbye